Hey everybody. Hey guys. Welcome back to the channel, The Couple Vibes. So today we are at SeaWorld. Uh, we are here to do a animal encounter tour. Uh, we've done one of these before with penguins. Uh, we'll link that video down below and have it at the end of the video so you Which guys really cool. can go check that out. Yeah, it's really cool because you get up close with penguins, you get to pet them. Um, but today we're going to do something different. SeaWorld offers a bunch of these. They have orcas, they have dolphins. Uh, I think they even have like a walrus one. Um, but today we're going to be doing something special, uh, something Faz has been wanting to do for a while. And that's the beluga one. Yeah, I'm so, like a big fan of Arctic animals. Yeah. Like, Beluga whales, penguins, orcas, anything arctic. So yeah, I've been wanting to do this for a really long time. Yep. And we got the opportunity. Now. So we're gonna get up close with belugas. I don't know if we get to touch them, pet them. Um, there are two different types of tours they have. They have, they have the encounter and they have the up close tour. So we do the up close one because I think you get a little more interaction with the animals. Uh, I'm not really sure what the encounters do, but they do have a less expensive tier if you want to try it out and see if it's for you. Um, but yeah, so today we're going to check that out. Um, today is a very busy day. Um, something I wasn't really expecting, but I guess I don't know why I wasn't expecting it, because it's a Howl of Scream day. And I think they do trick-or-treating. So you got kids here that are dressed up, going to go trick-or-treating, get some candy. Um, I don't know how many of them are going to stay for Howl of Scream, but they got Howl of Scream tonight. Yeah. Um, so just keep that in mind, yep. like if you have a planned event. Oh, there goes. If you have a planned event or anything where you need to be there at a certain time, just plan ahead. I would get yeah. here like two hours early or an hour early. Yeah, it took us a little bit to get in. Yeah. So, but yeah, so we're gonna head over. The tours, um, most of them start at the base of the Sky Tower. So that's where we're gonna be headed now. Um, our tour is at 1.45, I think it's like 12.30. So we're gonna go get checked in and then see what, what the day is, has for us today. But we'll see you there. All right, so we are here at the sandbar. So this is where you come to check in for all your animal tours. Um, it's at the base. You can kind of see it there. That's the sky tower right there. I don't know why it's not focusing. There we go. Yeah, so that's the sky tower. And so at the base of it is the sandbar. And that's where you check in for all your um, animal encounters. So we're gonna go and get checked in. So we just got done with the Beluga up close tour. Uh, unfortunately, we weren't able to film in there or take pictures with our phone. We had to empty everything out of our pockets, put our bags in a locker. Yeah, they, they have you kneel like close yeah. to the water so they don't want anything falling yeah. in the water. It makes sense. It was just yeah. So you know. it's just the safety of the animals. So like if you were to drop your phone in there, how are you going to get it? Uh, it's, it's it's it makes sense. So that was fine. Um, the encounter itself was really cool. Um, we got to actually interact with the belugas. We got to touch them. We threw, gave it, fed it some fish. They showed us like hand signals on yep. how to show them how to do like different tricks, like wave their tail, wave their fin. They made a lot of like noises. I didn't know they made all those yep. different kind of noises. Yeah. So fun fact: um, the noise they make comes from their blowhole. Yeah. Just like dolphins, the blowhole is what actually creates their sounds. It doesn't come from their mouth. And apparently, um, their mouth isn't connected to their lungs, so. They're two separate tracks, so that's why they breathe through their blowholes and yeah. not their mouth. And our tour guide said they're kind of referred to as the canaries of the ocean because they can make like so many different noises, like more than other whales. Yep, yep. So that was kind of cool. So a couple things, like I said, you can't bring in your camera. Can't, uh, hats are okay as long as they stay in your head, and sunglasses are okay as long as they're in your eye, like you will keep them on. Um, then there's a kneeling portion, so if you want to get up close, you have to be able to kneel for a little bit. Um, to be able to touch them and whatnot, but yeah, other than that, I think. Those... And we got to feed them. Yeah, we got to feed them cool. as well. Yep. Um, yep. But we'll put some pictures in. Like yeah. the, there was a photographer there. Yeah. So there is a photo pass yeah. uh, guy that there that's there. So they he'll take pictures of you and you can claim them at the front when you're done. So we're gonna try to get some of those and put them in, um, maybe now.
you saw our pictures, we're gonna head over to the Animal Rescue Center now to show something cool that most people I don't think know is here at SeaWorld. Yeah, I'm excited. But it's, it should be cool. So, see you when we get there. See you there. Alright, so it looks like SeaWorld got their Christmas trees up. So, during Christmas they do have some Christmas shows and we'll try to hit those up this year, kind of see what they have. I've never been here during Christmas, but it looks like they already got their some decorations going up. It's kind of interesting seeing Christmas trees up next to the Hollow Scream decorations. A little different, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Alright, so we finally made it to the SeaWorld Rescue Center. So this place is kind of cool. Um, like I said, I don't know how many people know it's uh, back here. It does seem like they have like candy trails here, so they're trying to like promote it a little bit more. Um, but in here, you're gonna see some sea turtles and man manatees. So we're gonna go in there and see see some of the sea turtles. All right, so we made it to the Sea World Rescue Center. So this place is kind of cool. It has sea turtles and manatees and kind of like the rescue animals they do. It's a really cool place. I don't know how many people know about it. Um, I don't know if you can see behind me, but it looks like they're doing the tree trails. You can kind of see the, the umbrella right there. So if you're coming here for trick-or-treating, you'll pass by here. And I highly recommend going inside. I'll show you why when we get inside, but we're here to see some sea turtles and some manatees. Another two of my favorites. I'm excited. Yep, so we're doing the trilogy. <laughs> we got belugas, manatees, and sea turtles. Let's go inside. So the first thing we spotted was some manatees. Hmm. So I don't know how many people know what manatees are. I think they're more of a Florida thing. So you can kind of see there and there. Um, they're also known as sea cows. Um, I think they're related to dugongs. But you can kind of see the, this one over here. I don't know if you can, camera's picking no, up, but eating. he's eating a lettuce. And that's pretty much most of their diet is just eating lettuce all day. But yeah, they, they come here in the winter for the warmer waters. Um, but you can kind of find them year round in Florida. But yeah, so you got manatees. So one of the things about manatees right now, and it's been an issue for a while, is um, boats in the springs and the rivers. Um, they have signs that say watch out, but um, the propellers will sometimes hit them. And um, when they get hit by the propellers, you could have just imagined the kind of injuries they sustain. And so SeaWorld will rescue some of them, bring them here and rehabilitate them and send them back out if they're able to, otherwise they stay here as like animal ambassadors. But yeah, so here's the first bit of manatees we're sending. So as you can see, they've rescued 57 manatees, um, 57 mammals, and then down there you can kind of see 29 sea turtles rescued. Over, over 29, so yeah. They do a pretty good job of rescuing animals that are need, need to be rescued. Check it out guys. So we got a sea turtle just like resting over here. He just like the vibe in there. Yeah. Look, look, we got a sea turtle right by my feet. Where you going, little sea turtle? All right, so we made it into the rescue center. And the first thing you kind of see is this like big open aquarium. And this has sea turtles in it. You can kind of see one over here. He's just vibing over here. He must be one of our elder ones, just chillaxing. But then we also have one here by the glass. And there was another one that was going around, but he kind of left. So you can kind of see, you can kind of see sea turtles in here, and we got some tanks. So um, I think those are sardines. I don't know, but tanks. This little dude here. Look at all them chickens. Whoa.
Barracuda? I think it's a Barracuda. Let me know. Why so serious, fish? Alright guys, we have found the manatees. Alright, everyone, that's gonna do it for us to hear at SeaWorld. Uh, we went and did a beluga up close tour. That was pretty cool. Got to touch some belugas. We got to feed them some fish. Um, and then we went to the Animal Rescue Center. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was pretty cool. We got to see some sea turtles, some manatees, and just some other fish in there. Um, but yeah, if you ever get a chance, I highly recommend try, um, going to that Animal Rescue Center. That that place is really cool, and it's something like I don't think anybody really knows about. It's kind of off to the side. I didn't I didn't yeah. even know what existed. So. Yeah, so highly recommend that. Highly recommend the Animal Counters. That was pretty cool. Um, and just a heads up, do the Animal Up Close tour because that's the those are the ones you can actually um, interact with the animals. The um, the encounters, they don't do it. It's the up close tour that you gotta do. Yeah, my only critique would be like, I wish we had more time for the animals, but I think there's a reason why. I think yeah. the animals can only handle so, so much. So it's 45 minutes. I mean, the whole tour did take 45 minutes, pretty pretty accurate to that. So, but there's but a lot of walking. There's some walking involved, so just take that into consideration. Um, the kneeling wasn't too bad, but yeah, overall, a great day at SeaWorld. It got hot, so we're gonna head home. And we'll see you on the next vibe. Bye. See ya.